welcome to This Day with B.J. Arnett. And yeah, I'm her, B.J. Arnett. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. Look, I am a mother of five grafted in together children and they are all grown and my husband and I are empty nesters. But I love a great story about how to help our children. You know, when your children are growing up, you look at your girls and you look at your boys and you see the different things that are happening inside of them. Before your children ever say anything, dad and mom already know what's going on well I want to introduce you to a young man who really got an opportunity to become really close to his dad Nick Salyer did I say your name right yeah, Nick Salyer's yep, yeah right. I did it <laughs> of uh, champion tribes tell us about champion tribes and why that was an important place in your life yeah definitely uh, so it kind of all actually started with uh, a Jewish bar mitzvah. Mm -hmm. And our neighborhood friends invited my parents to go to one when I was about six years old. And my dad just came away from it just blown away by the significance of that moment for the son and just the beauty of the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And he kind of told my mom at the time, he said, when Nick turns 13, I want to do something like that with him to mark his life. And, and to tell him and show him that I love him. And, and so that's kind of what started this whole what journey. What started the whole journey, but you were just a little fella. Right. So your dad actually began to plot and plan and organize and put this all together. Exactly. And so he read all the books, and there was one in specific uh, called The Blessing. Mm -hmm. And there was a line in The Blessing that just really gripped him. It said, if a young man fails to receive the blessing of his father, He'll spend the rest of his life looking for it in all the wrong places. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't want that for my son. I don't want him to seek, you know, acceptance and love elsewhere. Uh, and so I want to do something active to change that. As your dad went through this experience of building it, then you become a 13-year-old young man mm -hmm. with all the wild thoughts that roll through your mind, with all the questions, there's that teeter-tottering between boyhood and manhood, and right. it's like, okay, what do I do? But your yeah. dad was there to walk you through. Yeah. Talk to us about the basis of which the program is set up in yeah. these 12 steps that you mm -hmm. went through that allowed you to grow and flourish and to know that love from your father. Yeah, definitely. So it all started with my dad recognizing that he tried to have some of these conversations one on one and they were really awkward and yeah, really unnatural. Yeah, because you all zone out. You yeah. all zone out. You just kind of go, uh, what? Exactly. And so he realized he needed to create the context for that conversation to happen. So an environment. An environment, exactly. Okay. And so that's where he started. And so he found some other fathers, some like-minded fathers who said, hey, we're kind of recognizing this important phase of life for our sons too. Mm -hmm. Let's do this together. And that kind of gave him the motivation and the accountability that he needed to not just stay on the couch, yes. but to really get you know off the couch and get active and get engaged and, and really build this program. And so that's what he did is he found the fathers and he said, let's figure out how to create the right context for conversations. And so that's what they spent about a year planning mm -hmm. and then kicked it off when I was about 12. And so it was, it was five fathers and five sons. And we would get together about once a month and just talk about specific values. And so we use CHAMPION as an acronym for the values that we, we go that through the program. So what are those values? Yeah, so we, we, we start off with kind of a really big ceremony that is a lot of fun and a little bit almost mysterious. Which uh, guys like. Exactly, and so we call that <laughs> commitment night. And okay. so we, we talk about commitment that night and commitment to becoming a champion and commitment to, you know, what, what are the things in life that we need to commit to. Uh, and then we walk through the 12 uh, values of the program. And so that's confidence, humility, accountability, motivation, perseverance, integrity, ownership, navigation, and then sacrifice and significance. Wow. And it all culminates in this kind of final ceremony where a letter is read from the son to the father and then the father to the son that kind of affirms and seals that moment of affirmation and love that every young man is seeking. As I listen to you, I, I recognize that this is something that you were very blessed to be able to be a part of. Yeah, From seeing your father 
mm -hmm. you know, that light come on in your father, and then at 12 years old, you had to recognize that he was stumbling through the or original conversation, right, and that right. it was uncomfortable for you and for him. Mm -hmm. But then he, he comes to this place for you at 13. Right. And Champion Tribes happens to be born. Mm -hmm. How do you think your life would have been different had this not occurred? Yeah, so, I mean, it's hard to say exactly, but I, I think there's a couple key things that I saw in my life, and, and really, honestly, I, I saw them more when I left my parents, when I went off to college. Isn't That's that amazing? When I, I started to realize, like, oh, man, not many boys, not many sons are getting this kind of experience yeah. and affirmation, and I, yeah. I just saw it play out, mm -hmm. you know, in black and white in college mm -hmm. especially, but I think one of the things is, and my dad always said this, is he wanted to help me move from living for my dad's affirmation mm -hmm. to living from mm -hmm. his affirmation. And I think that's maybe one of the key things I saw in my own life is I wasn't seeking his approval or affirmation. I was living from a place of love and acceptance. And so that eliminated a lot of fear and, and really gave me the confidence that I needed to move through to, life. Exactly, the, through the good times and the bad. Mm -hmm. As you, you know, you mentioned going to college. College is the time mm -hmm. where they say is the most difficult time for both young yeah. men and young women. Right. Because that is where your faith is challenged. That is where your values are challenged. That is where everything that your parents have told you not to do is presented to you on a silver plate, right. you know, and here. How were you able to take a look at those values and steps that your parents placed inside of you through champion tribes, but also in the everyday living in front of you? Right. How were you able to see what had been done? Yeah, so. On your behalf. <laughs> right, right. I, I think a lot of it was there was certain things that I learned mm -hmm. during that year of Champion Tribes from my dad and from other men, uh, other wise men who he kind of, you know, intentionally put in my life that just, they really connected mm -hmm. and they helped me to make decisions when I was on my own. Mm -hmm. But another thing is he taught me to look for other wise men, is that my dad's not always going to be there helping me make every decision, but he taught me to look for mentors and wisdom. Um, and so in college, I sought mentors and yes. they helped me navigate some of those difficult situations. Mm -hmm. and, and so it really was, it was starting early, starting around that age of 13 where I'm forming my identity and learning who I am that, that the impact at that moment really helped carry me through college. And, and that's where I, I mean, I really saw it is that a lot of my friends in college, they were having to prove their manhood to everyone all Every the time. Day all the time yeah and I, I not that I didn't struggle with anything I'm you know not perfect by any means but but I noticed our struggles were different mm -hmm. and that I wasn't having to prove my manhood to everyone all the time because I knew my my father loves me and approves of me and views me as a man mm -hmm. and so I didn't have to struggle against those same things that that's such a value commitment mm -hmm. uh, for you and so important there are so many programs for young girls in the in the US of a that uh, are about affirming about mm -hmm. uh, growing that young woman and there are very few for young men right. as you look at your college friends and you look at the steps they took and the steps you took mm -hmm. with your foundation. How have you been able to come alongside those friends who um, sometimes make the bad decision? You don't necessarily walk away from them, right. but how do you come alongside of them and help them though they didn't have the foundation that you did? Yeah, and, and a lot of it is I, I lean on the wisdom of my father that I learned mm -hmm. and lean on the wisdom of the of other mentors, mentors that I have and try to help them you know, see through that lens. Mm -hmm. But also really that's, that's what's kind of stoked my fire and passion is I want every father and son to be able to have that kind of experience and build that relationship with their father or another, you know, mentor wise counsel. How does it all work? How does someone, yeah. you know, there are people watching this show, both husbands and wives, mothers and fathers mm -hmm. who are saying, my child needs this, my son needs this. Right. How do they get involved with Champion Tribes? And later I'm gonna talk about this box yeah. right here yeah, because this is, the, this is kind of like the, <laughs> the end of the story yeah. um, uh, just before the birth of a young man. But how do people get involved mm -hmm. and become sufficient, self-sufficient in order to be able to, to have their champion tribe in their home. Yeah, 
So when my dad did it, it was a lot of work and required a lot of creativity. And so what I've tried to do is make it really easy for any dad mm -hmm. to be able to do this and to kind of activate this kind of character building in his son's life. And so what we did is we created an app, created a digital platform, and mm -hmm. that's kind of how life kids, moves that's, now. Yeah, that's yeah, how life that's moves, it. that's how kids learn. Yes. And so we moved everything digital. And so what you can do is uh, we've, we've created this kit. Let's take and, a look. Yeah. And so we've, we've given you everything that you need uh, for this experience. And so we, we kind of use these uh, items to help you kind of involve yourself in your son's life and bring up these crucial conversations. Awesome. And then through the app, we provide coaching and... Uh, so dad doesn't have to come up with his exactly. own words necessarily. We make it super easy and we, we tell stories and have movie clips oh, that good. really kind of bring up these ideas of the values and make the conversation really easy. So what is the flashlight about? Yeah, so the flashlight is actually part of the lesson on navigation. We talk about navigation is all about your attitude in life. It's a, it's a perspective. And so a flashlight is a tool that helps you navigate life and kind of see through the darkness. And so that, that gift uh, will be given for the, to the son from the father during that session. Of now, should I trials. be pulling the middle piece out as the last thing? Yes. Uh, the, how the, did I know that? The medallion is kind of at the end of this experience is there's kind of this affirmation ceremony. We call it the champion ceremony. And the medallion is kind of core to that is has two swords in it. One represents the son and the work and the effort that he's put in throughout the entire program. The other is the affirmation of his father. Mm. And so that's what it represents. And so when the champion dons his champion medallion, he is now a champion in life. So and he lives this from actually goes around his neck. It actually goes around oh, his neck. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, what's in that last corner over there? Yeah, so here we have, we have some rings mm -hmm. is one thing, and that goes along with our commitment ceremony. So every champion in life gets a ring, you know, whether that's a championship sports team or even you know, in a marriage is it represents commitment. And so these are kind of the first night um, is kind of a big surprise for the son and he'll receive a champion ring that kind of represents his commitment and his father's commitment to the journey. Um, and so it's kind of, you know, it, it helps invite him into that right context uh, of kind of, it's almost like a club that he's I going. I love it, I yeah. love it. This is awesome yeah. and a, a beautiful case <laughs> that it comes yeah. in. Yeah. As, as you go about promoting and, and, and really being a champion for Champion Tribe, right. what is your final goal, would you say, in order uh, to make this vision come to pass? Because everybody yeah. has vision, right. but in order for it to happen, there are certain core things that have to be established. Yeah. Definitely. So I, I think that my real heart is that every father and son would be able to have this opportunity. And so there's kind of two parts there. Is one, just culturally, we've missed this milestone. Is every culture throughout history and even in, in modern society, you know, you see these rites of passage into adulthood, but the Western culture just doesn't have that. How do people get in touch with you, Nick? Yeah. So uh, www.championtribes.com. Is Kinda where you easy. can get the kit and <laughs> mm -hmm. access the digital content through that, uh, but also at Champion Tribes on any social media. Oh yes, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. da 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 da. I don't even know all of them, but there yeah. are thousands yeah. of yeah. them. Yeah, we're we're on most of them. <laughs> most of them. And and so also just with kind of our vision for this is, we also want to see sons who don't have fathers. We know that not every son... So mentors can get exactly. involved. Exactly. And that's so that's awesome. where we really would like to activate churches and other organizations to, you know, we're, we're going to find those sons and pair them Make with a mentor because they need this. I and, love and we it. need to break those kind of generational, cyclical things that it. happen. You can get it tribes, championtribes.com right. yep. championtribes.com Nick, this is great. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back. Excellent.